My name is Ashton Newhall. I'm with Greenspring Associates and I'm the co-managing partner. My family's uh, been in the venture business for three generations now. Uh, my grandfather used to work with Lawrence Rockefeller, what is now known as Venrock, uh, or the venture arm of the Rockefeller family. Um, he was involved in the financing of a number of companies, uh, in-flight refueling and reaction motors being two of them. In-flight refueling is what actually brought our family to Maryland when he ended up running it. It was a company based in Lithicum, Maryland. Uh, my father worked with Mr. Price at T. Rowe Price and um, <clears throat> worked uh, on the New Horizons Fund uh, and then ultimately left T. Rowe to start a firm called NEA or New Enterprise Associates, uh, which I suppose is one of the larger venture firms uh, in the world today. And then uh, a number of years ago, I used to work at T. Rowe Price and then uh, learned a tremendous amount there and was afforded the opportunity to go start my own. Uh, venture firm, uh, what is now known as Greenspring. And so that's sort of the uh, family history, as it were. Uh, T. Rowe uh, was contemplating whether, uh, what businesses they might uh, get into, one of which that they considered was uh, a, a venture-oriented fund of funds. I think at the end of the day, um, the, the firm was very focused on the integration of the Rowe Price Fleming uh, purchase that, that occurred while I was there, and that was uh, rightfully so the priority of the firm. I guess that afforded me the opportunity to think about launching my own uh, vehicle, and, and that's when, in fact when I, I left to start what was then Montague Newhall, what has been renamed Greenspring Associates. My co-founder was Rupert Montague. Um, Rupert worked at Altius, which was actually a private equity advisory shop that T. Rowe was a part owner in, and uh, he and I were partly responsible for the product creation that we were thinking about prior to the Rowe Price um, acquisition. Uh, Jim Lim uh, joined me in 2004 and um, he and I have really been collaborating uh, since that time to help sort of store Greenspring to, to what it is today. Many of us, uh, I guess the question is uh, how uh, does the California office work relative to the Maryland office? The vast majority of us are based here in Maryland, uh, although uh, everyone in the firm, uh, on the investment side, it seems, lives on a plane in many, many cases. So as a result, we needed a place to hang our hat when we were out in Silicon Valley, and so we utilized that serviced office as exactly that, because one of us is in California virtually every week. And I guess uh, the simple answer is that we felt there was a better way, um, that the Many of the people that were in the intermediary business, in our estimation, uh, were misaligned with their client base. They weren't really incented on the back end. Uh, they were more of a fee-for-service consultant uh, and a low-margin fee-for-service consultant at that, or they were a asset aggregator who uh, really only made money if they raised significant assets. In both cases, that led to a misalignment with ultimate production of uh, risk-adjusted return. And so when we look to construct vehicles on our platform, we think of it really from a, seems trite, but a client-first uh, perspective because we invest substantially in anything we're going to do. Um, we, want to we want to believe that we can create risk-adjusted return for both our clients and by extension, ourselves.